Hey everybody, it's Troy. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the black bars in your recording. And then after that I'll show you how to prevent it in the first place. I'm using Camtasia 2020, but the principles are the same in pretty much any application. I did this recording of an app. It's called Sketchbook app is kind of irrelevant whether it's PowerPoint or whether it's uh, Microsoft Word that you're recording depending on how it's recorded you might get bars on the side or on the top uh, the first thing to do is to click on the media here on the timeline if you have multiple clips uh, like uh, I might have a couple of them here I can multiple select but uh, let's just start with one at a time shall we uh, so I click it and I can scale it now the question becomes now that I've scaled it up or if I let me uh, zoom out here I use this scrolling um, mouse wheel by the way to scroll in and out uh, additionally if I need to I can uh, do something like that but I'm gonna scroll out with the mouse wheel uh, I can anchor it to the corner that I do want to show so let's say for example that for the sake of my video I need to show this Windows um, element right here because that's because I'm going to use it during my recording uh, these tools over here I don't really need uh, because I don't use them in the recording so I can scale up or if I need to I can scale up even more it's okay to not show every little element of your UI uh, so in this case the only thing that was important was the equation so it'd be alright uh, to do something like this uh, I could go the other direction and I can move it up into that corner there and say maybe those tools up in the upper right were really important and maybe the tools over here in the bottom left really weren't and I can scale it down there is another option here that you can choose which is that you can use what's called the crop mode we don't uh, talk about it all that often but it is quite handy if you need to sort of get more space in your recording and let's just say the bottom toolbar you never used in your recording the top toolbar you never use in your recording so you can get rid of that I, and I can get rid of that and it once again if I need to I can sort of zoom in to make sure that I got it just right but uh, with that crop being done I can go back into the edit mode and uh, and I can scale up and this may give me just a few more options that I didn't have before in terms of uh, the level of definition of, of what I'm zooming in and out of All right, so let's talk about preventing the black bars to begin with. One of the ways we do that is to make sure that the project settings match the recording settings. So if our project by default is 1080p, which is sort of a normal or uh, the most common dimensions if you're going to YouTube or anywhere else, it's sort of the standard size of a video nowadays. You may or may not be able to record at those dimensions. It's possible that your screen on your new laptop is bigger than that, and that's okay, so, which means you're going to have to scale it down. If it's possible you want to start at this dimension and then you can scale up but getting the ratio right is important so let me show you how to do that I'm gonna go into record and on my recorder here I don't really need any I don't need my sound or my camera for this uh, experiment or for this demonstration but I can choose this uh, drop down right here on the screen recording area that I want to choose and if I can choose full screen it will tell me what the dimensions are also it gives me a reference point that normal widescreen which is as I mentioned before 1080p is the normal video mode uh, that will give me uh, something consistent with default project settings similarly when you produce you can produce at 1080p as well and that's going to give you pixel for pixel clarity all the way through that's the ideal so if I go to 1080p in my recording I'm gonna get these little hash marks you may or may not see them in your recording if not I'll put them um, on the project so that you can see it uh, but that uh, if I click record it's gonna start my recording and I can see 
in this PowerPoint presentation. Let me go to slideshow mode because I'm pretty sure this is going to give us black bars. Sure enough, it does, right? This is like a super wide screen uh, video. What we're shooting for is something that was wide screen, but this is like ultra wide screen. Uh, so if I go to uh, the design tab here in PowerPoint and then to uh, size, I can go to custom size and I can see this isn't 16 by nine. This was developed for 16 by 7.5. Uh, so let's go to uh, 16 by 9 as a ratio. It's just normal widescreen. And uh, we'll ensure the fit. There we go. I might need to move some things around a little bit to make it work. But now when I go into slideshow mode, I can go uh, from the beginning. And sure enough, it fills up the whole screen. So that already in and of itself is an improvement. Now I'm going to go back to my recorder and uh, I'm going to delete and start over again. And uh, let's say that for whatever reason, um, I can't get uh, 1920 by 1080. Maybe my laptop doesn't support it or um, the application doesn't scale to that point. That's fine. Uh, what I would recommend doing is locking those, uh, those ratios and um, changing to what you can do. Let's say your laptop only does a 1600. I'll hit tab at this point, and you can tell that it is uh, resizing a recording space to something a little bit smaller. I'll hit record, and it's okay to start a recording and not start your actually talking immediately. Because from here, I can then move the application that I want to uh, record and I can hit uh, those dimensions just about right. And I'll maybe clap or snap, and now I can begin my, my recording. And as I work through it, uh, I'll do what I need to do, and when I'm done, I'll hit stop. And now inside of Camtasia, I can take that recording down onto my timeline. As you recall, um, we took a minute to get everything sized properly, which is just fine, right? Uh, and I can trim that recording, but more importantly, I can scale this to something a little bit larger. I might need to manually adjust it. There we go. It, you can kind of see it snapping when you get those yellow lines like that. And now it's scaled properly. Uh, so there's no black bars on one side or the other. Finally, uh, recording at 1080p, having your project at 1080p, and then lastly, when it's time to share, you go to local file and share at 1080p, which uh, MP4 1080p only is going to be your best bet. I hope this is helpful. Thank you uh, so much for using Camtasia, and uh, best of luck with your next project.